I feel that uh, the stroke situation is no longer um, uh, um, effective terminology. What would be more comprehensive was to say that I have certain remaining challenges with Parkinson's that uh, I'm working through. And part of that is uh, just the feeling, the feeling of the body starting to respond to what I, what I would like for it to do. There have been several times that I've purposely got off of my medication, let it run its full course, just to see what was, what was left. And previous to that, it was cramping. It was a severe cramping in my extremities and in my legs and in my feet. Uh, in fact, it reached a, a point where I was almost totally cramped up. I could, not, I could not move. That's when I realized that I was fighting two things, an addiction to the drug and also Parkinson's. And the addiction to the drug is almost totally gone. And it leaves me with some of the Parkinson's conditions that I can concentrate. The dosage of the medication, how much lower has it, it become? It is uh, about two and a half times more effective than it was. Excellent. So you have more on time with the... We're more on time. Two and a half times the on time. You said that you had previously a problem with choking. Yes. Night and choking and the fact that you couldn't sleep because you would your sleep would be erratic. How do you feel right now after the uh, To my surprise, in our research, we found that that was a common problem with Parkinson's patients. And it, it would reach a point to where literally the, the, the neck muscles would choke the people. And uh, that has all but totally been gone. I mean, it's, it's, it's not there. Okay, and you feel that your sleep has also? Yes, I sleep, I sleep about four to five hours and then I'm awake about 40 minutes, and then I sleep another four to five hours. Excellent. Do you feel a change in your speech? My speech is much more clear, and the volume has returned. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would tell you that that, that is a very positive occurrence. Mm -hmm. that, and what about you've had previously problems with bladder control? So that's... That, uh, that I... I read through all of the, the blogs and I, I found that most people don't want to talk about it and yet I've talked to the physicians and the nurse and they say yes this is a, a common problem with Parkinson's patients and what we noticed is the very next day from the surgery I had bladder control and this was something that was, was huge to me because I had reached a point where I absolutely had no knowledge uh, that anything would go wrong and I looked down and I would be wet. Can you describe what happens when you get on the off time? What happens now in my off time, and I just noticed this in the last couple of days, that a hand that I literally could not lift before, I mean I could concentrate and I could not get it off of my knee. I can do this in my off time now. And my hand was almost like a brick of ice, it felt so cold at all times. And uh, three days ago, I told my wife, I says, my fingers are starting to turn pink. And there's more heat radiating from my hand. Mm -hmm. And this morning, she says, your hand is totally warm. I'm about 60% effective in the off time. So if I try to zip the, the jacket up, I can do that at a slower mm -hmm. pace. And that's what I was saying, is that my hand used to feel like it weighed 2,000 pounds. I couldn't lift it in an off time. And I can lift it now and I can actually move my fingers. Sometimes he couldn't even do it mm. when he was on the medication. Sometimes he was on. 